the Appropriations Committee approved spending bill with a probate provision. So on July 12th, the House Appropriations Committee approved the fiscal year 2018 Agriculture Appropriations Bill that contains one big provision that would save the vape industry. This provision is Section 753, which grandfathers in vaping products that were already on the market before the deeming date that took effect in August 2016. This legislation will also exempt premium and large cigars from having to go through the same approval process. So Democratic Party Representative Nita Lowy of New York argued against passing the legislation, stating that passing it would result in the FDA never being able to regulate these products ever again in the future. She also talked about how e-cigs hook kids on nicotine with flavors like Fruit Loops, and that study after study show high levels of formaldehyde in e-cigs. Obviously, she hasn't kept up on the research because all of her claims have been proven false in many newer studies. But despite her push to defend the current FDA rules, the legislation was passed by a vote of 30 to 22. Earlier this year, the Democratic Party succeeded in getting this language removed from the 2017 spending bill, but they lost by a big margin this time around. The bill now has committee approval to move forward, where it will now need to be voted on by the full House of Representatives, which is expected to happen on July 17th, which is today when I'm recording this, so I might be a little bit out of date uh, by the time you get to watch this. Hopefully some good news coming in the next couple of days.